Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to Robert's Sports Show. I'm your host, Robert. 2015 WWE Night of Champions preview. And the champions coming to you on the WWE Network this Sunday. Um, card looks alright. Some good matches on here. Um, some things I'm kind of wanting to happen, I'm hoping to happen. Uh, some other kind of standby. Oh, okay. Whoop, big whoops, happy deals. Uh, first, we're starting off with the pre show match. We have Neville. Teaming up with the Lucha Dragons versus Stardust and the Ascension are the Cosmic Wasteland. I actually kind of like those guys together, the Ascension and uh, Stardust. and I really like the Lucha Dragons. I'm hoping WWE will move forward with this tag division of theirs. They bring all these guys up from NXT, but yet they bring back a team from the past. Doesn't make a lot of sense, but uh, I think this actually be a good match. Neville and Stardust have been doing a lot together this year. Matter of fact, Neville versus Stardust, they've had 14 matches, and Neville's won 10. Um, obviously, if you go back to the last pay-per-view, you had Stardust and King Barrett versus Neville and Stephen Amell. So, and you got the, you know, the team of Amell and Neville winning that. Uh, Neville in tag matches against the Ascension, he's actually had six different ones. He is 3-3, three three. so uh, the history between these guys have kind of all kind of gone back a little way. So I look at Neville and Lucha Dragons getting the win, getting a nice little face pop start for this on the pre-show. All right, to the regular COD. We have Dolph Ziggler versus Rusev again. I don't know why they keep putting these two guys together. Um, it's okay stuff. It's nothing spectacular. It's just another match, just another pay-per-view match. Dolph is actually 11-3 versus Rusev in his career. Yeah, I looked that up. I don't know. I, just, I think Dolph needs to be in high, more high-profile matches and bigger matches. Rusev, never been a big fan of his. He's an okay worker. He's a, he's a guy. He's just another guy. So I got Dolph Ziggler winning that. Next, I had US, U.S. title on the line. We have champion Seth Rollins in two matches on this card. Uh, obviously making him... Defend both his titles, not a champion, all the titles on the line. Versus four-time U.S. champion John Cena. <sighs> all I can think they're trying to do with this is make Seth Rollins look like a bigger badass than he already is. Um, obviously, I had him defend two titles, win two titles at last pay-per-view at SummerSlam. Now he's going to defend both titles. It's almost like they want him to be... The Chris Jericho of today, when Jericho beat two legends in one night to win the world title, he beat Stone Cold Steve Austin and beat The Rock, the unification for becoming the first ever undisputed champion, the WCW title, and the WWF title. It's almost like they're trying to do that all over again with him beating John Cena and beating uh, Sting. I don't know. I, I do have Seth Rollins winning this, but I wouldn't be overly shocked to see Cena win. The one thing I liked about John Cena's U.S. title run. Is he had his freaking uh, matches on Raw. I love those. I love when he would do that. But um, it was something different, you know. So, but I get Seth Rollins getting the victory here and beat one legend in this pay per view. Next, we have the six man tag with the team of Dean Ambrose, Roman Reigns, and a mystery partner versus the Wyatt family, Bray Wyatt, Luke Harper, and Braun Strowman. Holy shit, that's a big dude. Um,. I guess they got nothing else to do for Bray Wyatt, nothing to do for Ambrose and Rollins. So let's just let them feud for a while. They've been feuding for months now. Now we're adding this, you know, six man tag in it. Obviously, October is Hell in the Cell, November Survivor Series. So don't be surprised if this doesn't meet to two Survivor Series teams, with these guys. Who's the third man? Those are the big news. Every time they get a third man on Raw, the Wyatt family takes them out. You know, there's so many speculations it's Randy Orton. One thing I thought of was Dean O'Brien. It's obviously going to be a big face. Randy wouldn't be a surprise. Dean O'Brien might be a little surprise. You know it's not going to upstage Sting, not a champion, because Sting's night. So, it's not The Rock, you know, the other cousin of um, Roman Reigns. You know, Jimmy, Jay Uso, or Jimmy Uso, one of the fucking Usos got taken out. And unless it's the other Uso, ooh. There we go. Maybe he's healthy and can come back. I don't know. I don't think it's a name like The Rock or something like that. Maybe a Samoa Joe. That makes sense. Um, 
guy from NXT bring up. Who's not, you know, like somebody like a Samoa Joe who's really not afraid of Bray Wyatt, not afraid of, you know, Braun Strowman. He can come, come there and kick some ass, help the face team win, make him look as a face, kind of get the crowd used to who he is. So, I'm going to take two, st two guesses, my final two guesses. Either the other Uso, Jimmy J, which one of them has been hurt, or Samoa Joe. Maybe Eric, maybe Eric Rowan. Yeah, so... Um, but I get the face team win, Ambrose and Rollins, they'll win that, and whoever their mystery partner is. Uh, next we have the IC title line, we have champion Ryback. Oh my god, fucking horrible. Feed me less! Feed me less! Uh, versus Kevin Owens, Ryback has been champion 112 days, that's been 112 days too fucking long. Uh, it'd be great if they get the IC title on Kevin Owens, like Kevin Owens feud with Cesaro, feud with Neville, feud with Dolph. Barrett, something actually gets some prestige back to the fucking IC title. Ryback is not a fucking champion. Ryback is not a fucking champion. Say it with me. Ryback is not a fucking champion. But, uh, get some prestige back to the IC title. Because at one time, the IC title was the go-to title. It was the workhorse guys. It was the Shawn Michaels of the world. It was the Stone Cold. It was the Rock. It was guys like that. Jericho that built that title up to what it was and it was the go-to Bret Hart's of the world you, you had to be an Intercontinental Champion and a solid Intercontinental Champion oh we might give you a world title run Razor Ramon, Owen Hart these are legends that had this title right back really? give it to Kevin Owens finally give him a WWE singles title so I got Kevin Owens winning hopefully Next with tag titles on the line. Oh God, it's gonna be it's gonna be a decent match. It's not gonna be spectacular. It's not gonna be a you know match of the night candidate. But we have champion New Day, which they're pretty good workers. I like two thirds of them. Can't stand Big E, but whatever. Versus the 24 time tag team champions of the world, the Dudley Boys, Devon and Ray, Bubba Ray and Devon. Devon, get the table! I've heard that once. I've heard it a million times. You know, they've won, they've won titles all over the world. WWF, TNA, and New Japan, the IWGP World, Ti World Tag Titles, ECW, and they held the WCW Tag Titles. It was a WWF version, but it was WCW Tag Titles. There are 10 time WWF, WWE Tag Champions. The last time they held the champion was 11 years ago in 2004. When this pay-per-view is all said and done, we will have new Tag Team Champions of the World, the Dudley Boys, 3D, Dudleyville. There's no reason for them not to win this. Um, you don't bring a team like this back in and do what they've done with it. Give them a title shot without them winning. Um, I'd rather see Primetime and New Day or Lucha and New Day or some of these other upstart tag teams. Dudleys don't need to be there. They're going to be in the Hall of Fame next year. Great. You're 24 time tag team champ wrestling champions. You don't need another title run. I got the Dudleys upsetting New Day here. Next, we have the Devils title on the line. Oh my God, can this shit get more complicated? If Nikki Bella gets DQ'd or counted out, she loses the title. So, what happens if Charlotte pins Brie again? What happens if, you know, something like that? We haven't thought about this. Uh, the whole goal was getting Nikki Bella to be the longest reigning women's cha divas champion ever, 300 plus days, surpassing uh, AJ Lee's 294 day mark. Um, it's like they want to scrap the record books of the AJ Lee, Sam Punk kind of thing. But, as women's champion, I think on Sunday it'll be 301 days. She is not the longest reigning women's champion in WWE, WWF history. I go back to January, January 2005 to April of 2006. 448 days. Trish Stratus. Yeah. So this 300 day mark, this whole, oh, beat AJ Lee's war, you know, the longest reigning women's champ, divas champion. Yeah, divas champion, not women's champion. Yeah. Trish Stratus, 448 days. Fucking suck on that, Nikki Bella. Uh, Audra Bla uh, Blaze. 
I don't know how to pronounce it. Medusa. She held the WWE, WWF women's title in 1993, 342 days. Suck on that one, Nikki Bella. Sorry, she sucks on John Cena. All right. Main event time, world title line. We have champion Seth Rollins versus Sting. Yeah. No, I don't need to see this. Sorry. Sting fan. I've been a Sting fan since, oh, I started wrestling. If you go back to when you were a kid and the very first favorite wrestler you had, Sting was mine. I don't need to see this in 2015. I'm sorry. Makes no sense. There's no reason for it. All I can see is Seth Rollins is going to beat Sting. So Seth Rollins can say, I beat two legends, two Hall of future Hall of Famers, John Cena and Sting, in the same night. I am the greatest champion in the world, which I agree with. I'm a big Seth Rollins fan. Don't get me wrong. I want him to beat CM Punk's record of 434 days. I am good with that. He can hold this title for another two years. I don't care. I'm fine with that. Just don't, don't wrestle Sting. There's no reason for it. It's not going to be that great a match. If anything, it'll start at 9.35. It'll get 15, 20 minutes. If for, for some bizarre reason they let Sting be WWE World Heavyweight Champion, you know what? Am I going to crap on it? No. But I know what's going to happen. He's going to win the title tonight. He's getting cashed in on either tonight or tomorrow night. I think if Seth Rollins wins, Sheamus says he's cashing in on him. So, regardless, it's going to end up with a cash in. So, my guess is either one, Seth Rollins is going to leave him out of Champions with no titles, or he's going to beat John Cena for the, U for the, IC or the U.S. title. He's going to, whatever happened in the main event, and then Sheamus is going to cash in. So, regardless, Seth Rollins is leaving with a title, if not both titles. Uh, his current 171-day streak by Seth Rollins is the second longest since CM Punk's 434 days. Ironically enough, he is halfway there. By Sunday, he'll be halfway to Punk's title. Right. So, take that with what you want. I'd love to see it, but it won't happen. Obviously, with the money in the bank case and play, it won't happen. Because that's another 174 days, so... What is that? Uh, five more months? Eh, it could... He holds it to uh, Fastlane in February. If uh, Sheamus can hold that briefcase that long. Yeah, if he holds it to Mania and to have Sheamus cash in Mania, he would be the longest reigning champion in 25 years and since Big Punk's reign. So. Something to think about, but I do have Seth Rollins winning that. So that will wrap up 2015 WWE United Champions Preview. Thanks for watching. Have a spiffy night. As always, Robert Sports Show, your YouTube leader in sports channels.